I ain't gonna be up here long, but look, I don't like this Jeremy Grant trade. I like that the fact we traded him, but I don't like what we traded him for. That's my problem. We traded Jeremy Grant for a 2025 draft pick in the first round for the Portland Trailblazers. And their second round pick for this year. We so we basically get a second round pick from them this year and a second round pick in twenty twenty five pick depends on what team or a trade happens or whatnot between the Pelicans and the Blazers or whatever. But I don't like this pick. I don't like this trade. I mean who knows? The Blazers might suck in twenty twenty five, but who knows? It might also be a playoff team. I, I don't like the trade overall. I don't like it. I hate it. Um, Troy River, you are on the clock. Your All eyes are on you. Um, you better get this draft pick right tomorrow because this draft pick is going to be probably the most important draft pick outside of the K. Cunningham draft pick that you have. So, And the reason why I say that is because if you get this draft pick wrong, that 2025 pick is going to look really, really bad. And if the Blazers is a playoff team or a playing team, it's going to be a problem. It's going to be a major problem. This trade was trash. You traded for that, all that in cap space. I'm not rocking with it at all. You gave the Blazers what they want, and they gave you what you want for like three years later, though. Two to three years later. I, I Troy Weaver, man. Get your head out of the gutter, bro. And people are gonna say, "Oh, you overreacting? You on some bullshit? You overreacting? You do too much, man. You might be contrary, man. man. Shut the fuck up with all that bullshit, optimism, fucking, all this, trying to fit this narrative bullshit. I hate that shit. Live in right now. Don't think about the future. Don't think about potential right now. Think about right fucking now." If he have another 21 season, it's going to be a major motherfucking problem. I'm going to rant. It's going to be a major fucking problem. Have another 21 season. Win under 30 games again. Win under 30 games again. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a major problem. Not a minor problem, not a small. It's going to be a major problem. Major problem. And I don't give a damn who gets mad at me at this video. I don't give a fuck. Have another 20 win season again. And all, all of his fans is going to turn on your ass. Well, most of us. Have another 20 win season. How many 20 win seasons are we going to fucking have? We have what, three in a row? Come on, man. This team is trash. You need to fix this team now. Enough of this waiting game. Now, people going to say, well, he can go on free agency and sign DeAndre Hayden. He's still a possibility. And do, do, do. DeAndre Hayden, I don't want his ass. I don't want him. I don't want him. I don't want him. I don't want no, no center that's going to get. Watch, as soon as he get that bag, he going to be on some John Lewis shit and give the fuck up and be trash. He gonna get that bag and quit. That's what they normally do when they come to here. They get that bag and quit. And he's already his. He already got questions about his motor. He already got questions about how hard he plays because he got a video game addiction. Ain't nothing wrong with playing video games. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of NBA players play video games. Nothing wrong with that. But when you're addicted to it, you dedicate your practice time and your and your um, time to get better as an NBA player to fucking 2K, I got a real concern about that. But, man, yeah, that's it, man. I'm gone. Peace.